Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jay. If it's your first time here, welcome. So today I'll be doing an everyday type of look. Something that you can wear on an everyday basis, whether you're going to work, or you're just going out shopping, running errands, whatever you want to do. So, if you want to see how I achieve an everyday look, keep on watching. So, I haven't primed just yet. I'm going to be priming with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. You can't see it because it's white. This is my first time using this primer. So, hopefully I like it. I only bought the small one because, like I said, it's my first time using it. So, don't really know how my skin is going to respond to it, but we'll see. And I'm not going to use any setting spray this time, just because I want to see how it's going to work by itself. If it's more effective by itself or with something. Alright, so we're going to jump into foundation. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Spiced Rum. I know I'm late, but this is like my first time trying this foundation, so. Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 390. Now I've used this concealer plenty of times before and I actually really like it. Now that's all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and cream contour. I'm going to use the Black Radiance HD Corrector in the color, I don't know what the color is on here, on dark, in the color is dark. Oh, get out of the way. And if you're using this, you do not want to use too much. And you're just going to place that right on your cheekbone, like that. I'm saying you don't want to use too much because you're going to go back and set this in place. So you don't want to use too much and then you have a hard time blending it or it looks too harsh. So usually I contour right under my bottom lip, but I'm not going to do it for the sake of this video because I usually forget to blend it out, y'all, and I'll be walking around with a brown dot on my chin. Pretty sure people be looking like, I'm just going to blend it out.
And we're going to go back in with the butt side of that sponge where you used your lighter concealer, your highlighter concealer. It's going to go back up the bridge of your nose just to take away any harsh lines. Just like that. Alright, now we're going to set everything in place. So I'm just going to go back under my eyes. Make sure there's no creasing. I make some ugly faces, y'all. And I'm gonna go into my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm just gonna get my beauty blender right into there and press that under my eye. Up your nose. Um, at this point, I'm not adding any product. I'm just taking whatever's left over and kind of setting the rest of my highlights. And sometimes I even take like just a little bit, like a smidget, like a little bit, and put it on my eyebrows because it helps when I put my dip brow on to set it into place. Not a whole lot, y'all, just a little bit. And we're going to bake just a little bit. So I'm going to take a powder puff. I'm just going to dip it right into my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm just gonna dip that. I'm gonna place it right underneath your eye. I'm just gonna make that line inside your nose like that. So I'm just going into my MAC blush, the color Swiss Chocolate. I've had this forever, so I don't know if they still have this color or not. But I love, love, love it. I always end up resorting back to this color some type of way. It's either this or I use my, um, I have like a highlight and contour little set from NARS that I really like too. Now as I said, we're going to reverse contours just to make sure our cheeks are matched. Alright, and we're going to move on to our eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so eyebrows on. I'm trying to make sure they look right, y'all. It's kind of like a rush. So eyebrows are on, and I'm going to be using two palettes. Maybe even three. But mainly my Perception palette and my Juvia's Place Afric palette. So I'm going to go into my Perception palette first. I'm going to use the color Culture right here. And I'm going to use my, it's just a blender brush, random blender brush. So I'm going to go in to the culture and I'm just going to place that all in here. And it's a super light color.
So we're going to put this palette down for a little while. And we're going to go into our Afrique palette. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Afrique? Afrique. Afrique. So we're going to go with I still have the plastic in here. So we're going to go to, into Cameroon right here. Turn it the wrong way. It's like a really pretty brown color. You're going to go right into the crease. And you're not going to blend it out just yet. You're literally just going to pack it on. Now you're gonna go back into your perception palette. It's a little back and forth things, a little back and forth, but it's okay. We're gonna get it together. I'm gonna go in. I'm sorry, wrong brush. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush. It's a little dense. And I'm gonna go into play it out right here. I'm gonna pack that on the corners. I'm gonna use like kind of like a flat blending brush. I'm gonna go back into culture. I'm just gonna put that right on my lid. I'm not cutting the crease or doing anything fancy. You're just literally just placing that on the lid. All right. Once you know that, you're going to go ahead and dust off all of your powder. I'm going to set my face with the Max Studio Fix. I mean, Fix Plus, sorry. I usually go ham with this, y'all, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to stop it right there. All right, while that's drying, we're going to go into our Julia's Place palette. I'm just going to take my smudge brush and go back into Cameroon, which is our color right here. I'm going to go right under... Alright, so I'm going to do my lashes off camera, and then I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, so lashes are on. From here, I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush. I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush, and I'm going to go into my Black Radiance blush, which it is in Far Cute. <laughs> no, it's not. It's in Toasted Almond. And I really like this blush, y'all. Alrighty, just a little bit on the tip of my nose, just so that all flushes across. Alright, now we're going to highlight. And you guys know that I love my Pose Highlight by Colourpop and Shayla. 
And I always just go into the top of it because it's so much. It's a loose pigment, so <sighs> remember, it's the natural look. Might I add, you can glow. You can shine bright like a diamond if you want to. But this is a natural look, so it's just not going to put too, too much. Now, for lips, I'm going to use my NYX Espresso. Clearly, I use it a lot. It's like barely anything left. But my NYX Espresso Lip Liner. I was in a toss up whether if I wanted to do a peachy nude or if I wanted to do a pink nude. So I decided on peach because I haven't done a peach one in a while. And I'm going to go in with my Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. I'm going to place this right in the center. Okay. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. Let me know if you guys want to see more looks like these, more dramatic looks. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. Um, I'll try to get more content out to you guys as soon and as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to start uploading at least every week, and then from there, hopefully twice a week. But we're just going to start baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> But yeah, so just comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Bye.